In these examples, it's asking us to simplify the following algebraic expressions. I can tell that these are algebraic expressions and not equations because there's no equal signs. That means my goal is to make them simpler, but I won't be able to solve and get a particular value for x. So when I see the word simplify, I think of two things that I can do. One is I can apply the distributive property. And the second thing that I can do after um, using the distributive property would be to combine like terms. Like terms being terms that have the same variables to the same exponents. So as I look at this first problem, I see that inside the parentheses 2x plus 5 are not like terms. So the first thing I can really do to make this simpler is to apply the distributive property. So the 3 is going to distribute through and multiply 3 times the 2x and 3 times the 5. So I will get 3 times 2x or 6x plus 15 and then I still have a minus 10x plus 4. So now I'm looking for like terms and the like terms here are 6x and minus 10x. So I can move those so they're together if I would like to, to actually see that. I have 6x minus 10x and I have a plus 15 and a plus 4. Now remember I'm moving this 10x with the minus sign in front of it because it's like I could also change it to plus a negative and then I can see when I move it it is plus a negative 10x. So now I want to combine my like terms 6x plus a negative 10x or 6x minus 10x is negative 4x and 15 plus 4 is positive 19 so I get a plus 19. That would be my final answer and those two terms are not like terms so I would stop right there. On my second example I have this distributed property taking place in two spots. So when I look at it I'm going to distribute 6 and here I can think of distributing not just the 2 but a negative 2. It says minus 2, but again, I can think of that as plus a negative 2 if it helps me to see that I'm distributing at negative 2. And also as I distribute, this minus is really going with that 1. I could also rewrite it if I wanted as plus a negative 1, plus a negative 2. Sometimes people like to make that change and actually rewrite it that way. Or you can just think of that minus sign as going with the 1 and making it like a negative 1. So as I do my distributing, 6 is going to multiply by both of those two and negative 2 by both of those. So positive times negative is a positive 18x. And then I have 6 times minus 1, or is a negative 6. Or again, I could put plus, excuse me, negative 6. I could also write plus a negative 6. Also, I have negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x. And negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And if you're a person who would rather write plus the opposite in each of these places, that is exactly equivalent. So I'm going to have 18x, and I'm bringing the negative 10x with that because they're like terms. So I have 18x minus 10x. Then I have this minus 6 plus 4. Now I'll combine like terms. 18 minus 10 is a positive 8x, and negative 6 plus 4 is a minus 2. That would be my final answer. Again, if you have been a person who wants to change these to plus and negative as you go, then you might have gotten from your answer 8x plus a negative 2x because negative 6 plus 4. These two are equivalent. Whenever I end with an answer that says plus the opposite, plus a negative, it's simpler to change that plus the opposite back to a minus. So. Whether or not you like to always keep writing the plus the opposites instead of subtractions till the end, or whether you're just kind of keeping that subtraction with the number and thinking of it as a negative number, either way we should get to that same answer. On my last example, I'm distributing a two-thirds, so I'm distributing the fraction. 
And so in order to actually work that out, I might rewrite this middle step, 2 thirds times 6x. I have a negative times a positive, so I can just say minus 2 thirds times 2. Okay. Then I still have a plus 5, 6. I'm going to evaluate. To multiply a fraction by a whole number, I put a 1 under the whole number. On this first set, I can do some canceling. Common factor of 3. So I have 2 times 2 is 4x over 1, and I don't need to write over 1. That's the same. On the second, I have 2 thirds times 2. Nothing cancels, so I just get 4 over 3, and I have plus 5, 6. So now I look, are there any like terms? And there are. The constants or the numbers are my like terms. So in order to add fractions, I need a common denominator. So I can go over to the side and think about that. 4 thirds and 5 6, the common denominator is 6. So I have to multiply 4 thirds by 2 over 2 and get 8 6. So I have 4x minus 8 6 plus 5 6. Now again, that minus is going with the 8 6, making it like a negative 8 6. I can even change it to plus the opposite if it helps me see that. Negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3 6. So I have 4x plus negative 3, 6. Or I have 4x minus 3, 6. And the 3, 6 can reduce. So I get 4x minus 1 half. Oops, that half is a little funny. Those are not like terms. Nothing more reduces. Whoa, let me scoop that up, sorry. And so I just reduce the 3, 6 to 1 half. And then that problem is done. So those are all examples of simplifying algebraic expressions. And as you'll see, when we get to the end, there's still no equal sign. I haven't solved for x, but I've made it uh, look simpler, fewer terms than when I started.